pause this video, give this a problem to try, and then when you have an answer, resume the video to check if you got the answer correct. Here we have a heat transfer problem. We're told that the initial temperature of the water is 20 degrees, 22 degrees Celsius. We have 50 grams of water, and then the water absorbed 300 joules of heat. Assuming that there's no heat that's lost to the surrounding, what is going to be the final temperature of the water after the water has reached thermal equilibrium? We're also given the specific heat capacity of the water, C. Well, first of all, since we know that the water absorbed some heat, the, we expect the temperature of the water to increase. The original temperature is 22 degrees Celsius, so there's no way it can go down. So we can get rid of 21.3, and we can also get rid of 22 because the temperature should be higher than this original temperature. So that leaves us with C and D. So even if you don't know what equation to use, at least you'll have a 50-50% chance of getting it right here. But we're given the specific heat capacity, and whenever we are we have the specific heat capacity, we know the equation should be Q equals MC delta T. The Q is the heat, 300 joules of heat was absorbed. M is the mass of the water, that's 50 grams. C is the specific heat capacity, 4.2 joules per gram times degrees Celsius. And then we don't know the change in temperature, that's what we're solving for. So then we'll just do 300 divided by 50 times 4.2, which is approximately 1.43, and that is the change in temperature. That means that the temperature of the water increased by 1.43 degrees Celsius. So then it should be 23.4. So the answer is D. We get 22 plus 1.43, that's 23.4. If you want to learn how to ace chemistry. If you want to learn what's the best way to study for this class, if you want to learn some neat tricks and tips to take into your exam and do better on them, then you should head over to my website and get this free guide, uh, 12 Secrets to Ace in Chemistry. You can head over to www.conquerchemistry.com slash chemsecrets. I'm going to include a link in the description below. Check it out. I think it's really going to help you and you're going to, you're going to like it. Until next time, keep working hard and continue the good work.